Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. You fixed it! That's one! Now it's story time! One day, Kevin wanted to shunt a flatbed of oil barrels like Thomas and Percy. When Kevin biffed into the side of the flatbed, he knocked it over. So Kevin lifted the flatbed and barrels back onto the track. The end! <laughs> Untangle another story. Printable. Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. Can you help put the beginning, middle and end of the story in the right order? You are a really useful engine. You are really useful. You did it! Now it's story time. Gordon was at the steamworks getting a new coat of paint from a workman. Thomas chuffed up to Gordon and tooted his whistle loudly. The workman was so surprised that he jumped and accidentally painted a moustache on Gordon. The end. <laughs> Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? You did it! That's one. This story is all mixed up. You are a really useful engine. That's it! Now it's story time. One day, Thomas had to give a famous composer a tour of the island so that he could hear the sounds of Sodor and use them in his next piece of music. But everywhere that Thomas and the composer went, the peaceful sounds of the birds and the sea were crowded out by noisy engines. Soon it was time to hear the composer's new music at a concert in the town square. No one quite knew what to expect. Thomas and his friends tooted their whistles and blew their horns along with the brass band. They were the sounds of Sodor. The End Unta Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. You did it! Well done! You are really useful! You fixed it! Now it's story time! One day, Gordon's buffer beam fell off at the diesel works after he crashed into a flatbed. Gordon was embarrassed that he had to use a diesel buffer beam while he waited for his to be repaired. Thomas reminded Gordon that the diesel buffer beam allowed him to keep working while he waited for the repair. Gordon and his diesel buffer beam puffed proudly out of the docks because he was still a really useful engine. The End Unta Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? You are really useful! You fixed it! You are really useful! Now it's story time!
One day, Sir Topham Hatch's shed was on fire. Fiery Flynn was called to the rescue. Flynn put out the fire with water from his water cannons. Sir Topham Hatch praised Flynn for putting out the fire. The end. Unta Help untangle the story by putting the pages in. You are a really useful engine. That's it. You fixed it. Well done. Now it's story time. One morning, James needed to bring Farmer McColl's sheep to the fair to have their picture taken for the paper. James had to go through a large, muddy puddle on the way and was worried that he and the sheep would be too dirty for the photograph. The photographer was delighted to take a picture of sheep right from the field and such a hard-working sheepdog and engine. Their picture was on the front page of the Sodor Gazette the very next day. The End Untangle another story. Play. Can you help put the pages of the story in the proper order? You did it! You are really useful! Now it's story time! On the way to the children's steam fair, Dash ran out of coal and couldn't go any further. Emily brought Dash some more coal. Later, Emily and Dash arrived at the fair together. The End Untangle another story. Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. You did it! You fixed it! You are a really useful engine. Well done! Now it's story time. One day, Gordon's buffer beam fell off at the diesel works after he crashed into a flatbed. Gordon was embarrassed that he had to use a diesel buffer beam while he waited for his to be repaired. Thomas reminded Gordon that the diesel buffer beam allowed him to keep working while he waited for the repair. Gordon and his diesel buffer beam puffed proudly out of the docks because he was still a really useful engine. The End Untangle another story. Can you help put the pages of the story in the right order? You are really useful. This story doesn't sound right. You did it! You are really useful. You fixed it. Now it's story time. One day, Butch's new magnet became stuck to Thomas. Butch and Thomas could not turn the magnet off and get apart and went to find help while still stuck together. Luckily, Victor told them how to turn off the magnet. Soon, Thomas and Butch were back to being really useful. The End Un Help untangle the story by putting the pages in the right order. That's one. You are a really useful engine. You fixed it. Now it's story time. One morning, James needed to bring Farmer McColl's sheep to the fair to have their picture taken for the paper. 
James had to go through a large, muddy puddle on the way and was worried that he and the sheep would be too dirty for the photograph. The photographer was delighted to take a picture of sheep right from the field and such a hard-working sheepdog and engine. Their picture was on the front page of the Sodor Gazette the very next day. The End Unta Help! You did it! This story doesn't sound right. You are a really useful engine. That's one. You are a really useful engine. Now it's story time. One day, Thomas and Percy needed to deliver a giant pink balloon to the showground for Mr Bubbles. On the way there, the wind blew the giant pink balloon away. So Thomas went back to Mr Bubbles and got a new purple balloon to deliver. Finally, after Thomas and Percy delivered the purple balloon, the giant pink one arrived all on its own. The End <laughs>